to Metro Last Light. Uh, this is uh, once again the Redux uh, edition. We've got all these lovely extra missions to look at, but we won't be doing those just yet. Uh, we'll save those for the end of the game. So let's lead on straight from uh, the ending of the first one after blowing everybody the fuck up with a little story from Artyom. When Go asked on. how it all started, I always tell that it all began that day when we went to Botanical Gardens. We, meaning yours truly, and two of my friends. Whose idea was it to visit the abandoned station? Who persuaded the others to go? I always tell them that I don't remember. I always lie. It is a safe lie. Or there is no way to ascertain the truth. Both Vitaly and Eugene are dead now. The massive airlock doors shrugged and opened with a grinding sound, opening a road to hell for us and a road into the metro for the demons. But in fact, it all started that day when Mother said we should take a walk in the botanical gardens and go there by metro. I remember how we took a short escalator to the surface, how we exited a spacious glass pavilion and saw a street buried in green. I remember the small clouds moving across the limitless sky, the soft, cool wind on my face. Mother bought me an ice cream. That was the last time I tasted it. That day, humanity was executed. The righteous and the sinful were called to be rendered according to their deeds. And we hid from God's sight in the metro. And we were saved from his wrath. And he apparently decided that flushing us out wasn't worth the trouble. Then he went about his business or perhaps died. While we stayed on this used up and discarded earth and continued just going with it. Going nowhere. I remember so many random, unnecessary things, yet I don't remember the most important one. My mother's face. She died very soon after the war started. All that remains of her is that day in the gardens. How I wished I could recall her face. The way she looked at me. The way she whispered that I have nothing to fear sell my soul just to recall that. I'd do that any day, any time. And I did. Hello again, Artyom. Interesting premise to start us off with. Get those subtitles back on. We will go on Spartan and Normal once again. Up the gamma just a tiny bit. The Dark Ones came much later. From the Garden's direction. The Dark Ones. Huge. Towering a full head over the highest man. Nightmarish creatures. Creepy as a man turned inside out. Monsters born to destroy us. The word was they were incredibly strong and unnaturally evil. That with bare paws they could tear armed men apart. Joseph. That's all lies. <laughs> Truth is even scarier. Before the war, I mean, uh, up there, I was on the train when it happened. I tried calling my family, but couldn't get through. What the? What happened? Shit! 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 What's going on here?
No solo es eso. Wake up, Artyom. It's me, Khan. Nightmares, eh? No wonder, after all you've been through. Hello, Khan. I have incredible news. A couple of days ago, I was near the ruins of the Dark One's hive, and I saw one of them, still alive. I immediately set out to find you, as you were the one they tried to contact, before you launched the missile strike against them. Hey, Olman. Khan, how the hell did you get here? Get out, now! Yes, Ullman, one moment. If a Dark One has survived, it is vital that you try to speak with it, Artyom. I realize that, as one of the Order now, you report to Miller. But we must persuade him to allow this mission. Khan, I told you to get out! This is a classified base. You shouldn't even be here. I'll take you to Colonel Miller. Follow me, Artyom. Yeah, yeah. Get ready, Artyom. I'll be waiting at the exit. Move it, you windbag! I knew a smoker once. During the last year of his life, he had to eat, drink, and breathe through a tiny hole in his throat. So... We became one of the Order. And we kept, uh... What's his name's... Hunter's... Medallion. Good stuff. We found a of Iron, but I still can't get used to it. Strange place, this D6. I didn't know they ever... Привет, Артём. Артём was one of the men who found D6. They gave him a ranger's badge on the spot. Yeah, it's nice for him. I had to spend two years as a cadet before they accepted me into the order. Well, anyway, uh, where were we? The story is, construction started in Stalin's time and went on until the USSR broke down. War was inevitable, they said. And the people believed in a better future. Our leaders put their money on Armageddon. It still feels like our control outside could be the last. Did you hear what happened to Romanov's group? Romanov? I thought he was in the hospital from the attack on the Great Library. Discharged last week. So his squad is sent through the marshes to the church base. And Romanov's the only one who makes it there alive. You're shitting me. The rest of the group? Wiped out? The mics and walk along them so you don't drown. A child could do it. Well, okay, the shrimps always gave you hell. But come on, what could take a whole squad down? No idea. They found Romanov's alone at the church, sitting on the floor praying. Since then, he doesn't eat, doesn't react to people, he just speaks to God. <laughs> Hope Romanov's not expecting an answer. <laughs> Come on, you have five more sets of 30. <laughs> Look at those two rookies. Pathetic. Doing good. No wonder you call the order training time double. Sharper, move sharper. <laughs> Keep your back straight. Your gun. Wake up, soldier. Alright, fair enough. Heard about what you did. Respect, man. What? Oh, the missiles, right. What is? There's shit in the marshes. Maybe worse than the dark ones. Stay out of there. How the hell does that work? Worse than the dark ones. We launched a nuclear threat you against them, what would we do to anything to worse? I hear you're a ranger now, huh? We must get a drink some time to celebrate. For now, let's get you equipped. So, first things first. You're going to need a gas mask. Of course. You can't make a step on the surface without a gas mask. It's been 20 years and the radiation is still strong enough in some places to boil water. There are hot spots down here in the metro too. 
Don't forget filters for the mask. Sure, it looks cool enough even without these, but they definitely make it better for your health. Now, medkits. Well, what can I say? Anything you need for survival in a stylish orange case. Here's your advance salary for this month. Remember, your pay is in military-grade rounds. Sure, you can use them as usual ammo for some hefty extra damage, but saving them to buy guns, attachments, regular ammo and equipment from merchants anywhere in the metro seems like a smart idea. I'll take a rifle in one. Rifles are good for long range targets, but you don't want to get caught with your pants down or something creeps up. I'll take and we'll continue from last time. We'll take the out of that thing. We won't keep these for very long, unfortunately. Super weapons, secret machinery. And others claim there's a radio down here powerful enough to contact the bunkers in Siberia, where the president and the government are holed up. Yeah, it's madness. I wonder if we'll find out about those in the uh, next one. The base is clear. At least the part we're in. We've checked it. Yesterday, I checked the door. Remember the last time I ate an egg? Look, there's a reactor here, right? On the other side of the facility. I'm not sure it's safe here. Maybe this place wasn't designed as a shelter. What else? No idea, but I wouldn't fuck with any of the sealed doors. Miller's calling the group and there's a. I agree with you on that one. Simply. Please. Where in the hell did he come from? What's up, boss? So, you're an expert. Pay no attention to this clown, Alex. Open the gates. Have you heard about Lesnitsky? What are you talking about? Check Open with the, the guards at the lab. Door. Shit. 44. What the hell did he do? Syria, opening up. All right, let's go. The tombs of ancient kings were filled with whatever they might need in the afterlife. Weapons, gold, chariots. They'd sacrifice their wives and slaves to serve their lords even in death. Reminds me of this banker. Cut that shit out! The things in D6 are like what the Conqueror took with him beyond the grave. Cold steel and wild steeds, and treasures untold. Of course, the Tomb Raiders would always die horribly, killed by demons or ghosts, or their own greed. Khan, will you shut up or what? Okay, I heard that Lesnitsky did something. What happened? Nobody knows. Lesnitsky was at the lab. When the next shift came, the door was open, and the lab ransacked. Lesnitsky was gone! Shit! So, what's inside? Chemical weapons, maybe some other shit. That's, that's all I heard. God damn it. 
the colonel's going to tear me a new one because of Lesnitsky. A red hot poker right into my soul. If I still have it. All right, let's go. We might control D6, but it's like a damn city down here. All the bunkers, the nooks and crannies and exits. Still, they based the order dreamed of finding. Guys just came back from the ring. They say Hansa is strengthening the sentry points along the whole line. Especially the ones close to the Nazis. Hey, anyone know what the buzz is about? Why the summons? Kruman, take these guys to Miller. They've been summoned. Yes, sir. All right, go on in. I'll wait here. When you've gone, I'll speak to Miller. The bombing of the Dark Ones may have been humanity's worst mistake. What if they meant us no harm, but were trying to communicate? Perhaps the severe pain and loss of consciousness suffered in their presence just meant we were incompatible. Machines with different wiring. But somehow you, Artyom, have the common wire, the connection with the Dark Ones. Yes, people died at Exhibition, your home station. Hunter, the best of the Order, is most likely dead as well. And he taught you this. If we don't fight, he devoured. It is the law of evolution. But I would argue, the old laws no longer apply. All right, Artyom. And you, Khan. You have something to report? Yes, Colonel. Let's keep it short, then. I located the surviving Dark One at the gardens. What? One of those things is still alive? Luckily, yes. Luckily? Come, this is utter madness. The Dark Ones were the greatest threat the Order's ever faced. Come, just give me a chance. A single Dark One is no threat. Artyom has a gift. I believe he can establish contact with the creature. Let him come with me. All right. Artyom, go with Khan to the gardens and locate the Dark One. I'll send a sniper along. My best. Anna. Yes, sir. Why would we need a sniper? To eliminate the creature and finish the Orca's job. Miller, you can't! It's murder! Restrain him! You idiot! You're making the same mistake that... We're done here. Escort Khan out of here. Artyom! It's your last chance for forgiveness! For getting rid of the nightmares! Ah! Forget about Khan. Looks like he got close, too close to the creature, and lost his mind. Look here, Artyom. Complete the mission, and get back here quickly. A war is coming, and I'll need every ranger at his post. Now on your way. So, what are you waiting for? Come along, rabbit. Artyom, if it's true that the Dark Ones can sense you, maybe you could draw it out from hiding so Anna could have a clear shot. But do me a favor. Don't let the Dark One get into your mind, or Anna will have two targets. Is that understood? We now suspect Lesnitsky was a sleeper agent, but we haven't verified who's running him. Your job is to intercept him before he delivers the stolen container. Understood? Yes, sir. If Lesnitsky escapes with the container, the entire Metro's at risk. So if you can't take him alive, you damn well better bring me his head. Yes, sir. Dismissed. Hello, Anna. Don't tell me you believe that bullshit about making peace with the Dark Ones. I wish I had been up in that tower myself to see the missiles fall and watch them burn in their nests. You have anger Come on, issues. Rabbit. Would you let those things into the metro? Let them crawl into our brains so they could use us like animals. Maybe we could mate with them so the children could live on the surface and feed off the radiation. Shit. You don't shake hands with the devil. 
Recognize this train. All right, pop in like a good little rabbit. I'm gonna shoot you myself. Yeah, it is the same train. Interesting. Just a year ago, I stood on top of the TV tower and saw missiles rain on the botanical gardens, turning the flesh into ashes, smelting metal and glass. Nobody and nothing could survive that inferno. Yet Khan did find a dark one there. Now my mission is to find and eliminate it. To finish what I started. In the past, trains were ordinary things. But now, this monorail seems magic, doesn't it? Our kids won't know how to operate these things. And their kids will probably think this was built by the gods. Fair enough. All right, we've reached the station. This is part of the secret metro two line. We haven't explored these tunnels. Can't spare the time or manpower. So don't So Metro around. Two does exist. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, we were going a little too fast for that, I think. I'll try to put some juice on the system and get the lights on. Use your flashlights in the meantime. Perhaps. But we won't find out until next time. See you guys then.